areas under the normal curve. This is the lesson that we have to talk about in this video. So I hope you listen carefully. To begin, let's know about Z table. So here are the steps in finding the areas under the normal curve given a Z value. First thing is to express the given Z value into a three digit form. After that, we're going to have to use the z-table and find the two digits on the left column. Then, match the third digit with the appropriate column on the right. And lastly, we have to read the area or the probability at the intersection of the row and the column. And that is now the required area of the region. To illustrate, here is an example. Here we have a z-table. Now, let me give you some values for z-score. For example, z is equal to 1. The first step is to transform or write this digit into three-digit form, and that is 1.00. And then we have to locate the first two digits on the left column, or the first column, 1.0, and that is probably here. And then the third digit is 0, and that is 0, 0.00. And then we have to intersect the given rows and column and their intersection, that is 0.3413, this value is now the area at z is equal to 1. Another example, z is equal to 0 0.78. This value is already in the three-digit form. So, we're now going to locate the first two digit, and that is 0 0.07. Here is the location. And the third digit is 8, and this is the location. And then we have to locate and intersect. So their intersection is at 0.2823. This value is the area at z is equal to 0 0.78. Next, how about z equals 1.24? First thing to do is to locate the first two digits. That is 1.2 on the left column of the z table. 1.2 that is here and here. And then the fourth digit, third digit rather, is 4. That is 0 0.04. That is in here. Then going to have to intersect the row and the column. And then the intersection is at 0 0.3925. And that is now the area at z equals 1.24. Another one. How about z is equal to 0 0.06? So the first two digit is 0 0.00, 0 0.0, 0 .0, that is here, and the last digit is 6, that is here, and then we have to locate that. Their intersection is at 0 0.0239, and that is now the area at z is equal to 0 0.06. That is now the process on how to locate or to know or even to determine the area given a Z value or a Z score. An important reminder, I want you to note further that by symmetry of the normal distribution, the area between Z equals 0 and any point to the left is equal to the area between Z equals 0 and to the point equidistant to the right. So, so from 0 at the middle going to the right of the curve, that is also the same from 0 or at the center going to the left of the curve because of this what we call bisymmetry, which is one of the properties of a normal curve or a normal distribution. Now, let's proceed on locating area of region given a z-score value in determining probabilities. Okay, but before we proceed, let me introduce to you first how to use probability notation in denoting the area of a given z value. So here we have an example. So this one, so this symbol, this notation denotes the probability that the z score is between A and B. Okay, the z score is between A and B. This is the symbol or the notation. And this notation denotes the probability that a z score is greater than A. So z-score is greater than a, and this one denotes the probability that the z-score is less than a. For example, to denote the area between z equals 1 and z equals 2, we use the notation p quantity. We have here z greater than 1 but less than 2, which is equal to 0 0.1359, which 
we can read as the probability that the z-score falls between z equals 1 and z equals 2 is 0 0.1359. So that is how we read this notation. Okay, take note of that. Now, here is the steps in determining areas under the normal curve. The first one is to draw a normal curve, then locate the given z value or values on the baseline or on the x-axis. Then, draw a vertical line through these values. After that, we have to shade the region, then consult the z-table, and then we have to examine the graph and use probability notation to form an equation. And then lastly, we have to make a statement indicating the required area. So these are the seven steps that we have to remember. Okay. Now, a few reminders. Here are some cases. And if you can see this keys, uh, greater than Z, at least Z, more than Z, to the right of Z, above Z, we have to shade, okay, after the z value to the right of the z. Here is the shading part. And then, for the second case, if you can see this keywords, less than z at most z, less than z to the left of z below z, the shaded part is on the left side of the given z value. Okay, take note of this. Okay. Now, let's have an example. So, we have here, find the proportion of the area between Z is equal to negative 2.03 and 1.02. So, the first step, of course, is to draw a normal curve. And then, we have to locate these points, okay, these values, and draw a vertical line. So, first, negative 2.03 is approximately here, then draw a vertical line. Then after, z equals 1.02 is approximately here. Then draw a vertical line. And then we have to shade the required region. Another problem we have here between. So, sa pagitan. So, the shaded part is in here between the two vertical lines. So, this is now the shaded part. Then after that, we have to consult the z table to locate the area of the given z values. So, for z equals negative 2.2. 0, 3, the area is at is equal to 0 0.4788. And for Z equals 1.02, the area is 0 0.3461. So now, then upon knowing the areas, we are going to form an equation that by using probability notation. So the probability notation would look like this. This is Z is between negative 2.03 and 1.02 as indicated on our problem. In this case, in computing for the area of the re shaded region, all we need to do is to add the two given areas. To add the two given areas. Okay, take note also that the area we have here at z equals negative 0 0.03 is from the mean or from zero going to negative 2.03. So that is now the area. So upon addition, so, the probability is equal to 0 0.8249 or 82.49%. Then, last step is to ha make a conclusion. So, our conclusion would be that the proportion of area of the shaded region between Z equals negative 2.03 and Z equals 1.02 is 82.49%. So, that is now the whole step on finding the proportion of the area given Z values. Next, example number two, find the proportion of the area below z equals negative 1.41. So first step is to draw a normal curve, then locate the z value that is in here. And then we're going to have the shade. So since the we have here the keyword below, since we have the word below, the shaded part must be to the left or before the given z value. So, to the left of the z value. So, here is the shaded part. Then, after that, we have to consult the z table. So, z equals negative 1.41 is, is having an area of 0 0.4207. And then, let's have a probability notation. Our probability notation would be z is less than negative 1.41. Then, how are we going to determine its area or the area of the shaded part in the curve. So that is by subtracting 0 0.4207 to 
zero point five thousand. So why we are go? So why we need to subtract this area to zero point five thousand? Okay. Take note that on the properties given, each halves of the curve is equal to fifty percent or zero point five thousand. Okay, so the area we have here for Z equals negative 1.41 is the area from zero or from the center going to Z equals negative 1.41. However, the shaded part is on the left side of the given Z value here. So from negative 1.41 going to negative 3, so that is the shaded part. So to know that area, we have to subtract this area that we have to 0 0.5 thousand so by subtraction the area is equal to 0 0.0793 or 7.93 percent our conclusion would be the proportion of the area of the shaded region below z equals negative 1.41 is 7.93 percent so that is now the whole step next Third example, find the proportion of the area at least Z equals 0 0.57. First step, of course, to draw a normal curve and locate the Z value on the curve and draw a vertical line. So this is now the vertical line. So we have here the keyword at least. When we say at least, the shaded part must be to the right or after the given Z value from this line going to the right so that would be the shaded part so this is now the shaded region the next step is to locate the z value on the z table so its corresponding area is equal to 0 0.2157 and then our probability notation would be z is greater than 0 0.57 because we have the keyword at least and our shaded part is after the given z value that is why our notation here is greater than then, to solve for the area of this region, shaded region, our formula would be 0 0.5 thousand minus the area we have here. So, why? Because the given area that we have here is the area indicating the distance between the mean or the center going to the given Z value in this line, in this portion only. But we're looking for the area on the shaded part. So that is why we need to subtract 0 0.21557 from 0 0.5000. Sir, why is it that we are going to subtract that from 0.5000? Because the half of the curve is equal to 0.50 or 0.5000 or 50%. Okay, upon subtraction, the result is 0 0.2843 or 28.43%. And our conclusion would be the proportion of the area of the shaded region at least Z equals 0 0.57 is 28.43%. So that is now the whole process in determining the proportion of the given area we have here on the problem. Okay, so I hope... You understand or you follow the steps that we did on the on these three examples. Okay. So thank you for listening.